Survivor guilt is a, a phenomenon in which people relive over and over again what they could have done right. Like for instance, a, a, a person sends their mom to the nursing home and then the nursing home, they closed off as COVID, it has the, the, the virus and the person never sees their mom or their loved one again. Then they ruminate about it over and over again, trying to get rid of these horrible feelings. But usually, unfortunately, they fall into depression, even sometimes suicide. So this is a severe event. And if it goes on you know, for, for more than several days to a month, you certainly should get professional help. What signs and symptoms should we be looking for with uh, survivor guilt that's really become serious? When, when a person becomes more dysfunctional, they lose their routine, uh, they're not positive at all. They have signs of depression, like, like lack of sleep, lack of concentration. Their, their uh, weight changes about how much they eat or don't eat. They even have some rumination about suicide. Of course, guilt leads to depression. So these are the kind of situations that people can get themselves in real trouble. Um, they should you know, pr practice the five tips that I've given and if it doesn't work, they should seek professional help. When does survivor guilt become something pathological? When, when is it, because mourning is a natural part of life and usually mourning, you know, it depends upon the individual, but it could last maybe a few weeks to even a few months but generally people function usually well and they're reality oriented. Um, if they have symptoms, they're minor, they don't really need treatment. It's a normal part of life. But when it becomes pathological and much more serious is when people lose their sense of functioning. They develop really signs of depression. And what do we think about signs of depression? Well, we feel, think about the mnemonic SIG ECAPS. S, that means you don't sleep. I, you lose, you're not positive anymore. You're indifferent to wanting to have good experiences. G, um, you, you worry all, all, all the time. E, you have no energy. C, concentration, as I mentioned. Appetite, A, P, psychomotor, meaning that you slow down. And finally, S is suicide. Now that in a brief nutshell is what happens when people could start to feel depressed, when survival guilt becomes much more than just perseverating about the lost ones, but you really are unable to, to, to function and you could become severely depressed. And if, um, uh, if um, you, I, I've offered here my five tips, if they don't work, see professional help. One is nutrition. You know, that you have to think about nutrition, vitamins, vitamin D, B12, um, omegas, then exercise, number two, with light outside. Three, stay connected with your friends, especially people who have reality-oriented issues about the event. They know you did everything you could, and, and that's the reality. So surround yourself with positive people, get involved in a good routine, talking to everybody, talking to good friends, positive people, and most of all, in the end, positive attitude. Attitude's everything, pick a good one. Well, and if it doesn't work and all fails, then seek professional help. Bregman MD Medical Group offers online psychiatry and online therapy.